back to my channel today as you've seen in the thumbnail i have another restaurant review we are going to be reviewing solo restaurant over there by Sentin in johannesburg in south africa in africa in the world <laughs> so i actually went there a couple of weeks ago i'm only releasing the this um video now because during the festive season i really don't have time to be editing and posting and i feel like who's watching are we not all busy with our family and friends so i just decided i'll wait and i'll post this in jan but just letting you know that i did go in december so let's get to it number one curb appeal so solo restaurant is in santon um they're on fredman drive where Taboo is, that's that same center on the other side. So that's where it is. It used to be, uh, no, 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 I can't remember the place now. But there used to be the Baron there as well. Was it the Baron? I think it was the Baron. Santa the Baron. Yeah, I think it was the Baron. Could be very mistaken. Um, either way, the entry to the parking is twofold. It, no, it's on this, it's on the street where the JSE is. Uh, is that Fredman? No, it's not Fredman. What street is it? I can't I can't remember the name of the street. But if you're coming down that street and you turn into the parking, you need proper drain skill to get into the parking because it's very like gaga. It's not like a proper turn. No, it's like gaga. -ga. And then you are gaga -ga -ga into the center where you'll find parking. There is underground parking. I just didn't park there. I parked um in the open parking uh well katie we parked in the open parking because she went with me she, i was like sitting in the passenger seat like all fresh and stuff because you know i'm a queen yes ma'am anyway there is sufficient parking so if you don't find parking in the open parking there's definitely underground parking sorry if i'm looking down it's because i'm looking at my notes i have some notes here and listen you can walk with your eight thousand rand heel on this paving even if it rains you can still walk on this paving so pretty much it's easy to get there the gps will take you straight there and it's all good so the reception friendly super friendly there was two people there um one person was asking where you're going do you have a reservation the other i think took the temperature or something like that and then after that we went in and they helped us into the restaurant found our table and we sat down very friendly very friendly individuals and everybody's ready to help you because at the time we arrived there wasn't a lot of people so everybody was able to help you but even during your stay there everybody is willing to help you let's talk about the decor beautiful like there's black marble everywhere and i love marble white marble particularly but everywhere stunning like you look up you look down like it's a beautiful place it's such a beautiful place like they proper invested in the interior the chairs also there's an outside deck where if you want to sit there because it's airy and, and you know um there's a whole lot of air airy means air huh it's airy it's open um and the shade so you're not sitting in the sun when you're outside on the outside deck it is la lela a beautiful restaurant to be at like it's sit there yo yo taking pictures yo yo there's even a bar area where there's couches and it's very secluded not like very secluded but it's like on its own so if you want to run away from the noise of the rest of the restaurant you can sit there so there's a bar area there's the main restaurant and then there's the outside deck which i feel like gives you a variety depending on how you feel and where you want to sit on this particular day it's a beautiful yo hi guys that's yo hi that restaurant is stunning actually the best i've been at since i started doing reviews and my favorite part was the tunnel so there's this tunnel if you've seen the influencers on instagram they're all posted from solo at that tunnel that tunnel madam sir is very high it's decorated with bottles of wine i'm not sure if the bottles have wine in them or not the empty bottles or what but like there's bottles of wine on there so it's like a tunnel and you walk down and you can exit that way and there's also toilets on your way and it's actually adjacent to the bar area and then it finishes at a point and then the restaurant starts 
it's a beautiful 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 restaurant honestly like wow the ambiance so when we arrived like i said there was nobody like there were hardly anybody there like the, the outside deck was completely empty the inside there was like one two and then three with us tables that were um occupied but it started and that was around 1 p.m then it started picking up around 3 p.m when people started coming in and it got full and it got full and the more full it became the more vibey it was obviously where there are more people and there's people chatting there's a vibe right so i kind of liked the fact that if you want to eat breakfast you can do so and it'll be quiet if you want a vibey lunch and late lunch you'll get that because there's a whole lot of folk granted this was the 16th of december so people wanted to get out so i'm actually not sure on a random day what it's like but i, I have this feeling that you get the same kind of ambiance on any particular day and what i did notice and which makes me so happy the majority of females that came out together to eat lunch together at the restaurant yo hi guys women are literally doing it for themselves hey like everybody was out there having a really good time like it was just table after table a group of women after a group of women even there was a birthday or that on the other side of the restaurant even on the outside deck there were more there were more women but there there were also men but like it was just like voo, 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 estrogen everywhere and i was like do it for yourself ladies have a good time for yourself you really don't need a man to have a good time you can have one or you don't need one and that's just you know my opinion and i also noticed that it was women of all ages there were women like there were young women much younger than us <laughs> we were there so we know we know when you're in your 24 25s we can see it but on the other side there was also a couple of mature women um and on the other end there was a lot more mature women as well so i found that there was a variety of ages and uh, you know what everybody's welcome at that restaurant I actually like that place so much let's talk about the menu so they also had a barcode system on there take a picture with your camera it opens up a link and then you open up the menu the menu itself was actually not bad it wasn't a lot of options on there although the sushi was like but everything else was just like maybe four or five things under each heading um not bad it gives you a couple of options i think you'll be able to choose and the pricing of it as well also very reasonable so i'm was like very happy with the restaurant itself um i must say though the sushi is amazing so if you like sushi and you want to try it a new place and you have never been to solo go ahead and eat the sushi yum 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 but the mains tell a girl i don't know it was just bland it was not nothing wow nothing to write home about it was just it was just food you know and for a restaurant that looked that amazing that has that kind of vibe you would think that the food will taste just as good and it did not so that was a letdown for me um i know my friend did say she was here been here before she ordered the main she wasn't impressed but the sushi she enjoyed and i still went and ordered the main because i wanted to taste it and try it for myself i second hand now okay if i go there i'm only ordering sushi because the sushi is bomb.com the main course i think they need to change either the, the menu or the chef I, like i just i don't know but there's just something they need a little a razzle dazzle and there's just none of that in their meals so that was a bit of a letdown sitting down during the stay and as we left per impeccable service the one thing though that i must say is this gentleman that was assisting us now he went out of his way because when we were leaving my shoe i was wearing a type of shoe that has a chain buckle thing and it clipped open like it broke and i told him like do you have a dong so i can like he's like no 
uh, sister has let me do it for you he left it my shoe came back and my shoe was good again so he took the level of service for me way high so i was very very impressed another factor is we were there for like four or five hours and it was an amazing stay and i always say this if you have good company it will cover any flaws that you might experience at the restaurant so i had great company but the great company it complemented the stay as you've heard now i've had a beautiful stay at the restaurant so i will go again most definitely so before i go any further if you have not subscribed and you've watched up until this far please subscribe and like the video like and just hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post a new video okay all right now let's get to it food okay a bit of a letdown on the mains but the sushi did redeem it but because of the letdown i'm gonna give them a 6.5 drinks every time i do this part i'm like i chose a drink so there's just no way it's gonna be bad so nine Service, honey, because of the the shoemaker. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Venue stunning, over the top. Loved everything about it. Nine. Cleanliness, and I will say this all the time: you cannot eat in a dirty place. So because they were super clean. Nine. <laughs> menu selection. I'm like taking the food, and I'm like here, yeah, but you know the menu on its own without the food. Did really well, so they get a 7.5. Ambiante, listen, bo, 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 bo. they're getting an 8. In total, it's a 58, but on average, it is a 8.3. And I think that's a really good number for the restaurant that I was at, for Solo Restaurant. So I'm very, very happy with it, I guess, for myself, for experiencing it. If you are looking for the next place to hang out, check out Solo Restaurant and I really hope that you'll come back to this video and let me know how your experience was, um, what rating you would give them because I'm actually quite interested in knowing what you would think. I know I know what I think, but what do you think? Now that's the question. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to comment down below. Okay. And I'll check you in the next video. Until then. Be happy and smile.